All right, everybody, welcome to Simply Bitcoin, a channel that breaks down all the daily Bitcoin news, meme review, daily fails, software releases. But first, drop us a like and subscribe. All right, we are going to kick it off with the numbers on this election day. I got to bring it up, but you know, here we go. <laughs> Clock booty dashboard. All right, we're looking at a block height of 655,286, Bitcoin price of 13,688, chain rewrite days 644, and a total lightning capacity of 1,036.40 Bitcoin. Looking good, Phil, chugging along. It's time for the Daily Fail. So today's Daily Fail I don't know if anybody remembers Jordan Belford, right? The Wolf of Wall Street. I'm sure people do. It was a great movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Kind of made this guy look good. Um, anyways, so it's just funny, right? Um, you know, everybody remembers him and he called Bitcoin a scam, right? He was screaming from the top. He was all of a sudden relevant in places he wasn't. And bang, here he is. Bitcoin's a scam. And it's kind of funny because these days he's interviewing people like Ty Lopez and he's interviewing them as M&A entrepreneurs because... Ty Lopez has been recently um, buying up garbage brands that are dead, that aren't coming back. And essentially, I, I guess he's trying to sell this to investors that he's going to bring them back to life. Look, for the people in the Bitcoin community that are, that are new or the, new, the newbies to crypto that happen to stumble upon this, you know, uh, this channel, if you don't know who Ty Lopez is, Ty Lopez is an old school scammer. Okay. He's done uh, multi-level marketing, network marketing. And when crypto was huge in 2017, he was all there doing videos, showing him, you know, standing in front of other people's Lambos, pretending that they're his. So this is just funny that somebody like Jordan Belford, who called Bitcoin a scam, is interviewing like uh, uh, definitely like a, a king of scams and passing him off or trying to pass him off as legitimate. So it's crazy that people, you're exactly right, Phil. And it's crazy that people would even consider listening to, to two people that have this reputation of scamming people. That's how they make a living, right? So yeah, man, just stay ahead. Stay, look, guys, it's super simple. Just buy and hold Bitcoin. You don't need to pay anybody. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's so simple. And of course, tune into Simply Bitcoin for news, but that's it, you know? Of course. So, um, so yeah, Phil, it's time for the Daily Meme Review. What do we got today? Dude, we got a meme by Dennis Sat. He's a cool dude. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, oops. Oh wait, wait. Is it is it Dennis or is it Denez? Denez. Ooh, no, I'm that's... kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what if it could Nick, be. If if, uh, if Nick Cat mine ever watches this, he'll get a laugh out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tag him tomorrow. Yeah. All right, let's check it out. Let's check out the meme. See what we got. Ooh. Okay. 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 Um, all right. Well, okay. So, uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm okay. I'm going to give it a seven. All right. I'm just not, I'm not a, not a huge fan. 
What about you, Phil? I am going to give it an eight. Ooh. Okay. Well, still, it's – I mean, don't get me wrong, right? Um, it's not that I'm not a huge fan. I really like those um, – I, I like those memes that involve showing the candles, but I, I think unfortunately it was a little too drawn out and um, it, it kind of, you know, those kinds of videos are kind of meant to pump you up. Like, you know, if you're not feeling goosebumps and, and the thing is, is that that video kind of takes you through a flow of beginning goosebumps and not quite, and then going away <laughs> so, and then coming back. So, yeah. It's just too many a roller coaster. You know? I, you know, and it's, it's hard to understand. It's hard to keep up with and it, it doesn't make you laugh. You know, it, it's just, it, it yeah. doesn't make me laugh. And, and I have a weakness for laughter. And I think meme, the best part of memes is just making someone laugh and, it just, you know, but it, it did have a good message, which is why yeah. I did give it a seven. But it, it, it didn't deserve a B for me. It didn't deserve an eight. So close, but no cigar. It's time for The Daily News, sponsored by Crypto Cloaks. What? All right, so our first piece of news, it's, it's not really a piece of news, but it's, it's really interesting. Michael Saylor reveals that not only, this is this guy is such a Chad, so not only did this guy buy, you know, 300, I mean, 30, 38,200 Bitcoin for his, his company, MicroStrategy, right? He also took a, uh, a public position, right? So, man, that's awesome. He, he says that his own personal holdings is 17,732 Bitcoin, a figure of, seven, of 234 million. So, Man, I think that's the grand total of 700 million that this guy took off the market. That's so bullish, you know, and it's crazy because, you know, there's this saying where, where, that it's, it's super famous, like whether you have skin in the game, not only is Michael Saylor putting his own company skin in the game, he's putting his own personal fortune skin in the game. So, man, shout out to shout out to Michael Saylor. Yeah. I, I think that that, I mean, obviously it's like at this point, you know, he goes and buys Bitcoin for himself and it's like, yeah, you know, we kind of figured he already had Bitcoin, which he probably already did. And now he just has more. So. Absolutely. It's, it's, man, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice to see. And yes. there's a, there's, there's also a website, right? Like that you can go and check to see like all these companies. I think it's Bitcoin treasuries.org or something like that. Absolutely. That's definitely a good idea, Phil. We could definitely check that tomorrow for websites by please. We're going to check that out, but we're going to make it pop up so you guys can check it out in the meantime. And let's check out our next piece of news. What do we got? We got Swiss Arms of Russia's Gazprom launches institutional Bitcoin holdings. So just to kind of give you guys some context, Gazprom is literally one of the biggest corporations in Russia, right? Um, they offer natural gas to most of Europe, right? So they're huge, they're enormous, but they also have a bank. Apparently, that's how big the, the company is. And they're offering Bitcoin to their institutional investors. So this is just kind of adding up to what you're seeing around the world, right? Which you're seeing a lot of demand from in institutional investors. So, you know, let's see where this goes, Phil, but this is super bullish, man, because when we were in 2017, none of this infrastructure was in place, right? And the fact that we hit 20K, right? And now all this infrastructure is, is in place and the hash rate is 10 times higher makes me extremely bullish. You know, um, yeah, this definitely, I, I think that this is super bullish, but what, what it's making me think of, and, you know, I could just be totally, uh, you know, totally wrong, but like, it's kind of making me think that a lot, you know, a lot of these governments that are going to introduce a cryptocurrency may actually be accumulating Bitcoin so that they can uh, possibly, you know, maybe back their, their crypto with Bitcoin and make it so that people actually, you know, get tempted, you know, to see it as quote unquote, a store of value, because then they can point to it and say, look, it's backed by Bitcoin. So that that's kind of, it's interesting, right? I think it's interesting that there's, you got these kinds of, you know, these kind of entities that are right away deciding to hold Bitcoin. And then you have other entities, they're not mentioning it. And instead they're mentioning their own, you know, digital shit coins. Right. And it just, I, I'm starting to, I'm, I'm starting to think that there's going to be a method to this madness. So, okay. So you, I so, just don't see why people would use their shit coins unless yeah. they like, they, they have to, I think they have to give people a value proposition now that Bitcoin exists. I mean, do, do you think that like, do you think, don't you think that central bank digital currencies is a way for central banks to kind of 
circumvent the, the, the use of people using Bitcoin? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, see, so this is, you know what? I mean, like, this is where I get, you know, slightly confused because, you know, the average person doesn't really care about these things. You know, they, they, just, they just want money. So I, I think that, you know, these central bank currencies, digital currencies, they don't need to be backed by anything really, right? But I'm thinking that it's almost like the governments themselves are hedging by buying Bitcoin as well. So it's like they're going to give their population the garbage, right? But they're going to hoard, the, as, as we know, right? You spend the garbage money, you hoard the good money. Like they do with gold today, yes. right? Okay. All so right. Maybe something along those lines. And then I guess the, the less nefarious governments will be possibly backing their digital, you know, their digital garbage with Bitcoin. So, um, Phil, it's, uh, there are some software releases today. There was a big software release yeah. today. I always say that, but there's always, today. there's always a big one. Software releases. Okay, so today was actually huge coming out of Chain Code Labs, I believe it is. Oh, no, sorry, Lightning Labs. Um, all right, so they released a peer-to-peer non-custodial marketplace called Lightning Pool, where Lightning Node operators can buy, uh, uh, can buy and sell access to channel liquidity. So I am definitely going to be checking that out. That is very cool. Um, I, I know that um, there's some mixed feelings on it. So we're going to take a, you know, we're, I think it's cool in terms of progress, but we're going to continue to read into it and it might even become part of the news. Absolutely. It, and we'll, that'll be we'll down in the show notes. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Thanks. Guys, the election is today. You guys are going to see this video afterwards. So you guys are going to know who the winner is by the time you guys see this. And just a quick message. Look, doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter who won because that doesn't affect Bitcoin, right? So if, if you're either, whether you're in a good mood or whether you're in a really bad mood, you know, just look up because the, when you put your money in Bitcoin, you're opting out, right? So yep. when you're, when every time you buy Bitcoin, it's another vote, right? So, you know, if you're not happy with the person you voted for, didn't get into power, don't worry. Bitcoin is Bitcoin should be your shining light, not some dude that you vote in for the government. You know, those guys are not your friends, right? They're not going to make your dreams come true. I think Bitcoin will. I think Bitcoin is the shining light. So, you know, it's another day, you know, whether your 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 preference one or not. So that's a message from Simply Bitcoin. Guys, if you like if you guys like the show, like it. If you guys love the show, give us a subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow on the next episode of Simply Bitcoin. See you later, guys.